Hello, my name is Alexey. In the previous video lessons, we create responsive multi-language online store from scratch and upload it to the hosting. During the video lessons, we work with many objects, but not all of them were considered. In this video tutorial, we will work with gallery objects. I have been using website X5 since about 2010. During this time, I buy several paid objects. You can find this object here. This is marketplace of website X5. Here is object gallery. There are several categories. Here are our galleries. There is a free one and some paid. Here is you can find a description and see how it works. There are several layouts. Also, you can test it on mobile. See some options. And that's for every object. You can find such page for every object and decide buy it or not. Let's go to our website. It look like this. I already create some pages. Let's start with, with Justify Gallery. Here is my galleries. The first one. Let's add some images. As you can see, they have different size. It will be more interesting. Let's see what we've got by default. Here we can see our images. We can see it how it works on mobile devices. Let's add some description. Also, we can add link. We already work with these actions. Just pick up the page. We can pick up another page or just set another action when someone click on image. So we add link and description for first and second image. Here we can see some changes. Now we can see description. For this one, we cannot see description because there is no such description. We can click and it will be in full screen. Or here we can click and go to our page. Also here. Let's see another options. For example, margins. corner radius. Here we can see examples in preview. Change some effects. Change text styles, its size. Also we can change effect on image.
Let's see our changes. As you can see, our change was applied. Also, we have several appear effects. Let's see it on our side. Also, let's look where we can see overlow color. So, if you want to use something another than standard gallery object, you can use this, but first you need to buy it. Let's see another gallery, masonry. Also, we will add some images. They have different size too. Here, how it look like by default. Now let's change some options. We also can add description and set links. Just for example, You can change number of columns, also change corner radius, set margin between images. Change responsive mode. Let's look now. It's fixed. And now flexible. I live like this. Let's return four columns, icon styles, this icon. Also, these effects. Let's see what we've got. I'll refresh the page. You can change the order of objects like this, remove them or add one more picture in your gallery. Now let's look on YouTube gallery. Here you need to add links. This is links to my video on YouTube. I add some links where you can find them. You can find them here. 
just click share and copy this link and paste it here. Let's see what we've got. We can play the video. Let's change some properties. We can hide them. This control panel. Progressive bar. Let's leave bullets. We can change number of rows and columns. So the user can pick up the video he wants or just look through all your videos. We can show video through YouTube link. And it will be open in new window. Let's move it back and see on mobile. So it's pretty useful object if you have a lot of videos and it's totally free. In the following video tutorials we will look at other additional objects. There are a lot of objects paid or free and we will look at them and see how does they work.